is gonna be good. Oh, oh. Don't you hate when you slip and fall and open a beer? We're gonna let that bugger sit for anywhere from four to five hours, about 35 minutes a pound for nice, rare, medium rare. It's gonna be good. Oh, oh. Don't you hate when you slip and fall and open a beer? Beer break. Oh yeah. Get in here and get a quick sneak peek. Uh-huh. And since I'm about ready to leave the house here for a little bit, bring up the app. I can't see it. Anyway, there's the app. Yeah, I named my grill the Drunken Bull. So what? Tells me what it's at, what the smoker's at. Yeah, we're good to go. It's been about three hours coming to check temp. I like to check temp with an external probe as well. And he said probe. So I've got a Haviland Pro here, instant read. So we're just gonna go near the probe and the thick part of the meat. Just go right down in there. And that's reading about 199. So yeah, it's PID computer's working pretty good, eh? So we're about there. I think I'm gonna let it go to about 100, and, oh, 110, 115, and then uh, reverse sear it. All right, so we're gonna do the reverse sear and just get a nice pressed on the outside of it. We're gonna be eating good for Christmas dinner. And yes, it is Christmas day. So here we've got <clears throat> some local, this is local to me here in Cedar. It's a uh, homemade raspberry habanero honey. It is incredible. So we're gonna take a little dollop of that. And then of course, on the other slice, we'll do the traditional horseradish. Okay, here we go. This is the one I'm most interested about. So I'm not, not much of a sweet guy. But this raspberry habanero honey is incredible. Oh wow. That's delicious. Hey, hope you all had a good Christmas. It's actually Christmas day right now. Um, we're about to dig into some of this rib roast and have ourselves a good Christmas dinner. Stay classy, stay frosty, and get at me.